Manning Market has been a fixture in Colombo for as long as anyone can remember. A hub of retail and wholesale trading for suppliers, buyers and the general public, the marketplace made fortunes, sustained livelihoods and filled the pantries of generations. Vendors in the area claim that the market was established over a hundred years ago and historians hazard a guess at a date nearly 150 to 175 years. One thing is for certain, it is easily the oldest market and economic centre in the country. In a move to ease the extreme traffic congestion in the heart of Colombo caused by the bustle at the market, the Urban Development Authority allocated land in Paligoda for the new location of Manning Market. Since then, construction has been ongoing to develop an iconic structure which will serve as a modern market complex with numerous facilities for both traders and customers whilst allowing the current Colombo location to develop into a transport and tourism hub. The project is being managed and supervised by the Urban Development Authority with construction carried out by Marga Engineering in collaboration with architectural designs conceptualized by the Central Engineering Consultancy Bureau. A number of structural challenges arose because of the selected location which called for an entirely unique design for an oblique superstructure to be developed from scratch. Executing this unusual concept was a primary challenge in itself for the architects and engineers involved in the project. This uh, actually the unique features of this uh, project is uh, now we know that the, the building has to be uh, put up uh, close to the Katonayak Expressway which could be considered as the gateway to the, uh, to the Colombo from the airport. So in that case that has to be designed uh, considering the features of the highway uh, uh, expressway and also to be amalgamated with the other the outlook of the surroundings. Samanya uh, architectural form me kat edhi. Ami sema tino me kani. Apit a balan dewal tino. Ekak tamay function me kah. Mukat 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 sandhad me karani. Ilang kat a context me kani. Physical ka context me kah. Bauti ka parisade muna me edhi kela. Ekat a ekat tino ananita a. Ekat a galapeni me dier tamay. Abi samanya buildings karani. Me kah di bedium deng. Bedegat tu ni ekat kela me kani. Mukat me tena location me kai. Kan highway ke highway ke exit ke langgat ini ni, tu orang mekiti no perdi movement ke? Eka follow ker lah, tama api form meka ten. Tu kote me form meka ini headem, headem, saman de kloni mar katoda menas. Ikan ni, ekin tama ya kita cape me derive. Special design considerations and construction sequences were required to create the market complex, which is expected to house 1,209 shops. The slant column arrangement of the superstructure, those uh, the columns were varying from one to another, uh, from location to location, because of the curved shape of the, the building and also the curved and angled shape of the uh, slope shape of the roof structure. So that created a different column sizes at different places. So we had to design each column differently, treating them uh, their stability and load carrying capacity. The site was initially a marshy land of 15 acres, which was pre-loaded with a soil layer of 500 millimeters for ground improvement. The building complex rests on 622 in-cast reinforced concrete piles. A concrete bridge link with a steel frame structure connects two building blocks at an elevation of 13 meters. The entire complex will be four stories high, covering a total flow area of 446,734 square feet. Access to the building area had to be given by constructing a 400 meter long elevated road network connected with a 70 meter long ramp to the Kautonayaka Expressway by road. The other the challenging feature was the elevated uh, road structure which connected the exist, uh, access of the uh, highway. So to make large spaces at the ground floor level, 
uh, we had to make it uh, large span uh, structures like bridge structure so in that case uh, we had to uh, design it uh, with precast pre-stress beams but again uh, use of precast pre-stress beam was also a challenge because the curved shape of this uh, road structure made it different and difficult Precast beams were narrowed down to five different sizes and designed with different widths of support, which allowed a reduction of the total construction time, further simplifying the overall construction process. floating <laughs> effect this is a curved building and also it slants uh, from the bottom to the top and uh, each floor is uh, more than the usual height is about six meters there are three floors and in certain places is about 10 meters or about more than 30 feet and uh, especially with regard to false work or the temporary works or scaffolding work and supporting of slanted columns and curved beams was a real challenge because we even reinforcement we had to fabricate each link separately because the beams were not only slanting they were also tapering so that was a bit of, that was quite a challenge, but we, we managed it beautifully because we had meticulous planning. The planning behind the unique architectural design and the initial stages of construction was quite unlike any project carried out in Sri Lanka to date. Belwat, ape din ek ko agami ka building, ekhen public ekra ke ekra building din ne agami ke vai mana tang geval vage evidi ni institution leyo. Me vage loku space ekhen na public building sorta ape da. So initially we studied the project and we made the master plan and we made the cash flows and organization structure and the detailed planning and uh, what you call the material schedules, equipment schedules and document schedules and labor histograms and the method statements for all important work. So that we knew at any given time what sort of resources we need, and what sort of labor and management we need at the site. And, and also with the help of this detailed programming and the production planning and the method statements, we could easily, I think, construct what was detailed and what was planned by the designers. Construction has certainly been no easy feat. A total amount of 6.9 billion Sri Lankan rupees has been allocated for the project, with over 4.1 million man-hours and a workforce of approximately 600 people. The entire project was uh, done in several phases. The land development works done by the Land Development Corporation at a cost of uh, 250 million in 2016. The second phase of the project is uh, done by the now local filing construction at a cost of uh, 560 million in 2017. We had two big tower cranes. Uh, those are 70 meter, meter boom tower cranes, I think. Those are, I think only we have such big tower, no, tower cranes. And we, uh, uh, in addition to the tower cranes, we had several crawler cranes. Crawler crane cranes is those cranes that move on tracks and two mobile cranes and uh, passenger hoists and uh, goods hoists and uh, generators and compressors and all those equipment. The project has faced many challenges along the way. Heavy rains in 2018 affected construction on the marshy land of the site and the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020 further affected construction plans. The workforce dwindled to one third of the initial numbers. Satisfying the architectural intent uh, with uh, with uh, fulfilling the other requirements such as uh, providing services and uh, other facilities to the building was also a challenge. The new development aims to provide a wide range of modern and technological facilities for vendors and buyers alike. 
with mobile apps for vendors to order stocks, which is leaps and bounds ahead of the existing traditional ordering system. The complex will provide banking facilities, parking spaces, restaurants and more facilities that weren't previously available to Manning Market's long-standing vendors. Tackling the construction challenges head-on, the building was conceptualized with a duality of functionality and aesthetics in mind, all set to house Sri Lanka's largest wholesale market hub in an iconic superstructure unlike any other.